Hello boys and girls, and welcome back. I am your hosting guide, Chris13, and we are playing Final Fantasy VI. Now, there are a lot of things that I want to get done in this episode, so let's get started. Currently, in my party, I have Strago and Realm. Now, neither of them have really been used in a long time. So... Well... Actually, you know what, I just realized something. Do I have... Yes, I do. Okay, good. Neither of them used in a long time. So... Actually, not really at all. So it's kind of time that we level them up a bit. And by that, I mean there's like basically one thing in specific that I'm looking for. And if I remember correctly, I think it should be out here. And you can die too. Actually, while I'm here, I think it's in the desert, actually. Actually, actually, I'm sure saying that a lot. Um, Strago, as you all know, is kind of like your blue mage. He learns magic when the enemies use it. Um, one of the abilities we're gonna want to learn here is Big Guard. Yes, Mighty Guard. Once cast, he should memorize it, well, once the battle's over, and then he should be able to use it himself. There's a few others we can pick up, but for now, this is basically the only one that I want. Best way to get it is by these enemies here, the Earth Guards, um, although in your version you might want to be a bit careful, because there's such a thing as a sketch glitch, and it tends to screw everything up, so be careful when you use sketch. Well, there's also, um, a few others we can pick up, but I really don't want to do those right now. Big guard should suffice. I've also gone and picked up earth gear for everybody, because the next boss we're going to fight uses earth attacks, so that'll protect us from them. You also can't just use Levitate. Don't think you can just be like, oh, look, for this boss that's coming up, we're just gonna go like this, but ba bum Levitate. Okay, we're safe from all his attacks? No, because he nullifies your Levitate. He's kind of a dick. Um, as I said, Strago, we haven't used him in a long time, so unless you've gone out and gotten more abilities, we really don't have all that much. I haven't really used him enough to teach him any magic, so... Honestly, there's an ability we're gonna be getting, hopefully, in this episode that'll negate our need for a lot of his magic, and uh, Realm, my god, I don't think I've used her once yet, because she, all she knows is Blizzard. However, she is... well, once upon a time, she actually was our strongest magic user, but seeing as how I've neglected to use her, and uh, pretty much from the point you pick her up to here, we basically had Celeste in our party, so Celeste is now our strongest. I'm just trying to teach Realm, um, Flare, and honestly, if you do that while buffing her magic, that should be good enough to carry her through the rest of the game. Alright? Good. Um, oh, I also picked up some Holy Rods, which I didn't equip for some reason. Um, you can get those from Tamasa, uh, and the uh, Earth Gears, if you don't have any, like if you sold them off, you can pick more of those up at South Figaro now. So, without further ado... Opera House. Aha, this is very serious. Go and see Doncho, please. Alright, where is this impresario? You know what, I'm gonna go check the, uh... The here. The here. The whatever this is called. There's a dragon sitting on stage. This is bad. Oh my god, a dragon? <gasps> We've been killing those things! Alright! I guess it's time to go kill another one. Wait a second. I'm totally taking Realm into this battle, and she knows nothing. My god, she's gonna be absolutely useless. Well, let's equip to heal Rod and just use her as, like, a healing-type character. There's not really much else we can do, is there? Huh. Oh, well. Give her an earring to up the damage. And by damage, I mean the healing. Press the right switch. Don't make a mistake. Keep my eye on you. Alright, and by right switch, I'm pretty sure he means this one. Ah, there we go. Landed on stage. And hey, look! There's a dragon! Now this is actually going to be one of the harder dragon fights that we've fought so far. 
just because he actually has some attacks that can actually, well, hurt us. However, with Mighty Guard and Sabin's, uh, basically his blitzes, it shouldn't be all too bad. Although, I don't remember what he's weak against. Hmm. Oh well, guess I'm basically just relying on, uh, Bum Rush here. Yay, 50 Gs. Yeah, look at this. Boom! 50 times Earth Gravity, bring you back down. Man, you can't even frickin'... Can I sketch you? I don't know. I never really use sketch because of the stupid glitches that it causes. Well, I guess there's... Thundaga. Alright, well, at least we can deal some sort of damage. Mm, what else can I maybe use? Um... I don't have any water, maybe... He is ground, so... Blizzara? Oh, heal! Yeah, that's right. Took your strongest attack, and just completely negated it. Alright, like I said, strongest dragon we've fought so far. Unless, of course, you have Earth Gear and you know what you're doing. Like me! Yay, Realm learned Bizarra, and Strago learned Cure, and Strago learned Asper, and how are they- Oh, wait, Strago's got... actual, like, things. Five remain. Alright. Good. Done here. Where's my dash shoes? I'm gonna get the hell out of here. Um, Shiva's done. Let's go and give you... Uh, might as well. Learn some level 3 magic abilities. Eventually, hopefully. I really don't want to do any grinding. How did you learn Blizzara, though? What did you have that taught it to you? Or do you just learn that on your own? Not that I'm complaining, mind you. I, I'm very happy that she knows some sort of magic now that she can actually, like, deal some sort of damage with. But, with that, we're gonna give you... the Wizard Rod. No. We're actually gonna give that to you for now. This is the strongest rod in the game. Um, I think it's called the Magus Rod in America. I guess we can also remove all these frickin' Earth Gears. Alright. Cool! That's one thing down. One boss down. We actually got another one we wanted to do. For this one, we need to return to Thamasa. I'm also gonna switch up my party. So, if you just give me a second here, I'll meet you guys in the town. Um, for this, I'm going to be taking Gao, and I'm going to take Shadow. There is no rhyme or reason for that, I just want to use some other characters, alright? So, Gao... Actually, the reason I'm taking Gao is because... Well... He's got a rage... That I picked up. Boom, 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 is it in here anywhere? Holy crap. I don't even know what I'm looking for. Let's start at the bottom. I figured it was closer to the bottom. Please tell me I picked it up. Please tell me I picked it up. Please tell me I picked it up. Unsuly core, no. God damn it. Tonberry, no, though that is pretty good. Actually, you know what? Never mind. It's right here. The magic pot. This will make us. It will make Gao immune to all elements. And, as it's Rage, it will cast Cure 3, so it can keep everyone healed up. All while not taking any elemental damage. Win-win, right? Hey, yeah, awesome. Anyways, Lakshmi, I never really pointed out, teaches you some really awesome healing magic. Yeah, at really fast pace, too. Alright, and when you summon in battle, it restores everybody. So, that's something to look out for. It's pretty dope. Um, we're going to be teaching some of that to... Uh, well, at least we're going to start working on Kurega for Shadow, because it's not really like he uses magic, so why not teach him some healing, right? You know, you know the usual. Um, we're also bringing him just because I feel like it. I don't want to bring Shadow because, you know, I don't always need the strongest damage dealers. Plus, it'll make the boss fight a bit more interesting, right? Right. Sorry if this seems really rushed. Like I said, there's a lot that I want to do in this episode. Wahoo! We're back! Realm feels so happy! <clears throat> it feels good to be back. Why don't we stay for a while? Grandpa! This is bad! Gunko is! 
Gung Ho! Gung Ho, be strong, yes? Who did this to you? Who? Ah. I was pursuing the legendary monster hidden, and it was the one uh, that did this to me. I was so close to defeating it, too. Oh, against Hidden? Uh, <coughs> Gung Ho! Strago, please, you must avenge me. <coughs> Come on, Grandpa! There is no time to hesitate. Yes, boy. I spent a good deal of my youth pursuing that monster to learn its special technique. I almost got myself killed, I did. Gung Ho, I shall do it for your sake. I shall. Whee! Alright. So. Grandpa! Oh, never mind. Cutscene's not over yet. Hold on a minute. You're not going alone, are you? Oh, I have to face that monster myself again, and not turn and run like I did before. This is my obsession, and only I can resolve it, yes? But Grandpa, an obsession alone won't make you win. Grandma doesn't want to lose her Grandpa. If she does lose you, she won't be able to go on living. I'm sorry, Ram. I appreciate your concern. I certainly do. But as its name suggests, Hidden does not show itself to many. He doesn't. It would be impossible bro, to get Hidden to show up. If anybody but me were there, it would. Now, to a Boshi Rock. Oy vey. Okay. Basically what Strago is telling you there is... If you want to go and get Hidden to appear... I guess I should leave the town. Um, you have to bring him along with you. Now, I'm pretty sure you have to have Realm and Strago when you visit Tamasa to unlock Eboshi Rock, or I think in the American version, Ebbets Rock, so that you can come in here and fight Hidden. But from this point on, you only have to have Strago. You can have whoever else you want, but you must have Strago. Whee! Teleport! Nom nom nom. Oh, I'm hungry. Hunger, 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 hungry. I want something to eat. If I don't get anything to eat, I won't let you pass. My favorite food is coral fragments. Well, how about it? Will you give me some coral fragments to eat? Uh, I don't have any, man. You miser, get away from me. Okay, to actually get through this place, what you need to do is you just keep stepping on these crap, 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 crap. Yes, you step on the crap. You step on these stones and you'll be warped to different areas. Now, I know it's kind of hard to see... Whoops, wait, that actually might work. Ah, crap, it didn't. But it's not like there's actually much to this dungeon. You basically warp from area to area. A lot of enemies drop the teleport stones that you can get out. And in each area, you got these treasure boxes. And they give you a random number of coral fragments. What you do is you collect these coral fragments. It doesn't tell you how many you have, but you have to keep track. Right now we have one. We need to collect up to... I think... It's at least... Oh, man... I'm certain we need to collect up to at least 22 of them. And then we can go back to that dude face, Magoo. Which means, um, if you go back to him and say you've only collected 20, what'll happen is he'll take them all, he'll say thanks, but I want more. And then if you go back and collect three more, well, he'll still say, thanks, I want more. You have to have at least 22, and you have to give them to him all in one go. 
And basically all we're doing is running around in circles here. Alright. Now we've got six. Anything else? That's eleven. Thirteen. Sixteen. Woo! We got to see the whole area! Oh, that was pretty awesome. Alright, let's use some Aqua Breath. Really don't know what I'm using in here, I'm just kind of popping out whatever. Um, let's use the Diabetta, just because I can. Yes, I do realize I'm very weak, because I'm definitely not using my strongest. What the hell? Who cast Pearl? Oh well. And just to think, this area would have been so easy if I was brought in some, like, powerful characters. Oh, you cast Pearl! You're the jerk face, McJerk face. Oh, well. Man, this boss is really gonna suck with this team. Huh. <laughs> oh, well. I guess I do what I can. Yay, save point. Don't need it. Yay, save point. Don't need it. Yay, entrance. I could have left, though I don't want to because, yay, seriously. I hate this place. There's like no way to control where you go. Whew, come on. We can find coral fragments. We need more. We still don't have enough. Ah, oh, stupid save point. I don't care. Good. Coral fragments? Come on. I lost count. What am I at? 16, 17, 18, 19. I don't know. I don't know. I know I need more. Okay, that that should be enough, right? I sure hope so. Now all we have to do is hope that we can get back to that coral dude. Once we do that, we're good to go. Let's go with the deer better. Why? I don't know. I just feel like using it. Let's throw some catons. Really need to up his magic some. Then these will actually be able to do some decent damage. Let's see if you can cast anything good by sketching you. Yes, dead. Good riddance. Come on. Alright, three. Good. That's it for treasure chests. I know that's it. All we need to do is hope that we get back to frickin' stupid talking chest man. Where is talking chest man? I know I have enough. Now I'm definitely sure. Yeah! Talking chest man. My favorite coot is four coral fragments. Will you give him some? Yes! Mmm, tasty. I ate well. I'm satisfied. Good, now move out of my way. Okay, seriously, move out of my way. Yes, I didn't want to get past. You jerk face. Alright, is everyone cured? I guess I want to... I don't really need to get rid of that dark, but I guess I can use my eye drops for something. Everyone's healed up enough. Really, the only person with cure is... Strago! Yay, he knows cure! Haha, <laughs> that's awesome. You useless old fart. Ah, uh, Man, I'm maybe... You know, why am I not using the Templar? That knows like fire too, doesn't it? Seriously. Seriously. What is wrong with me? I guess I can just keep hitting him with all my strongest stuff, though really, this isn't helping me at all. The only person who's able to deal any damage right now is Shadow. I'm actually kind of glad I brought him along. Because although if I just turn Gao into the uh, magic urn, I'm pretty much safe knowing I'm not going to die. But oh my god, I can't deal any damage to anything. Anything.
Oh, well. This is what I get for not using any of my party members and switching it up. <gasps> That's hidden, it is! Yeah, giant snake snail. Ugh, you're ugly. And you have some jerkish attacks. Great. That's just great. Let's go magic pot. Um, do I even have any? Wow. Okay, so I've got a few medicines. I don't want to use those. Okay, I don't even know what I'm going to be doing here. Wow, I totally came in here blind. Anyways, first thing you want to do is you want to kill those hidden knights. Like, actually kill them, like the little guys, before you kill the big guy. Yes, he has the ability to bring them back. However, when they all die... Wow. That one in the corner is going to be a jerk. Um, when all of them die, Hidden will actually cast a very strong um, ability that Strago can actually learn. He'll teach you the magic train. So, you're going to want to also make sure that you're somewhat buffed up for this, because... I can't actually tell if anyone's buffed up because of the, uh, freaking poison. That's just grand. Great. Um, let's drop a fire on you. That one that got healed by my, uh, water attack, by the way. Okay, everyone is buffed. Good. So all I gotta do is stay alive. Yes, I know everyone's poisoned. I really don't give a damn. Oh, yeah. Only one more left. Anyways, what was I saying? Yeah. Um, anyways, all I gotta do is stay alive. I don't care about the poison, because for the most part, Gao's cure is pretty much gonna give me a full cure anyways. Um, Grand Train, learn that, because you want it to hit you so that Strago can learn it. Once that's done, you can go right on ahead and kill Hidden. Basically, I'm pretty much going to be... Can I hit, hit him with a blizzard? Is this going to deal any sort of damage? Alright, go Gao. You just saved my ass. I was worried I was actually going to have to heal with Shadow. What if throwing stone will do anything? Alright, cool, and I can use ice too. It's not great damage, but at least it's something. Also, after a certain amount of time, Hidden is going to bring back the little Hidden Knights. So, if for some reason Strago was dead, actually, I don't think it matters. Huh. I think as long as Strago is alive at the end of this battle, you learn the, uh, the Hidden Train, or whatever it's called. The train, as long as it's been hit on him at least once. Now, upon beating Hidden, there is no other way to learn Train other than coming back and fighting him again. And I'll show you how to do that later, when I get around to it. And man, I always, I hate how much magic his rages cost, because it just saps all of his MP. Now, I know I've gone over my 20-minute mark, but I apologize for that. It's that stupid running around collecting frickin' nuts and stuff, and I really wanted to get both the Dirt Dragon and Hidden done in this one battle, because, well, they really don't need to be done in two videos, because they both should have been very easy. But I figured it was about time I used somewhat, basically other than Sab and Celeste and Terra, because when we go to the final dungeon, my teams are going to suck. 
because each one is only going to have one powerful character. Anyways, here we got Strago, and he's all, like, excited because he actually defeated Hidden, and, uh, well, him and Gung Ho have been working on this for years. You know, Realm comes in, she makes it believable because... I don't know, because it's Realm. By the way, Gung Ho, how are your injuries healing? Wait a second. You mean to tell me you were never actually injured? You just wanted me to go fight Hidden and not run away? I kept going on, never looking back, and suddenly, there was Hidden. So bravely facing Hidden with my rod in one hand, I raised it and, well, I basically did absolutely nothing from it. Wham! It dealt no damage. It was amazing! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm as useless as an old fart can be. How's Grandpa? Hmm. He finally talked himself to sleep. But then, how to say it? Let's let him have his delusions. Now then, about my injuries. First, thank you. You helped Grandpa overcome something that's been bothering him his entire life. And because of that, he defeated that legendary monster. What an intelligent granddaughter he's raised. It seems like such a waste. And you're a terrible actor. Only Strago could be deceived by such an amateurish setup. How dare you! Anyways, whoa, we're still poisoned. It's a good thing we got Shadow. It's kind of weird that Shadow's my, like, guy with all the magic. That's... something's just not right about that. Anyways, if you ever want to fight Hidden again, just come here and talk to Gung Ho. He has a chance of... He has, he'll say different things, like, how's it going? How are things going? Yeah, so on and so forth. And, uh, it won't always be the first thing he says, but if it's not... There we go. Hidden has appeared on Emboshi Rock again. Now, you can actually go back, and you can fight Hidden again. He actually has an item you can steal from it. It's a thornlet. It's a helmet with the highest defense out of every any helm in the game, but it has no magic defense. So if you're just going for physical, it's really good. The downside to it is it has an innate seizure that it gives to your, the character that it's equipped on, because, well, it's a thornlet, it's a, basically a crown of thorns, it's, it's cutting into your face and your head while you're wearing it. It makes sense, but with all that said and done, I think I'm going to go to the Velt, and I'm going to level up, well, I'm basically going to teach some magic to some of my other characters that don't have any. The reason I do it on the Velt is so that way I'm not really gaining experience and I'm not really gaining levels, but at least they can have some magic so when I get into battles they're not absolutely useless. I know I could really do it anywhere, but I don't want to be like, hey look at me, I'm gonna go beat this next boss. Yeah, it's super easy. Oh wait, it's because I'm level 60 because I was grinding up magic and just happened to gain a whole bu bunch of levels on the same side. Woo hoo hoo. So, to try and keep my levels average, but at least giving myself the magic abilities that I need. And yes, I know I'm going kind of overboard on the magic, that's why characters like Set, uh, Shadow here, who really are never going to use it, tend to have a bunch. Like, wow, he can cast Levitate! Yeah. Anyways, uh, while I'm on the Velt, I'll also decide what I'm going to put in the next episode, where I'm going next. So, until then, guys, see ya. So I should probably also heal up my people, because, uh, just leaving them on the airship, I'll forget, and then I'll pull them out, and I'll go somewhere, and then they'll die. And that's never good.